Apos. Thank God no one really pays attention to the name Apos because Apos sent this to me because it's A-P-O-S and that's, whew, I just realized that that's what Apos is and it's like this, uh, because they really have good customer service and they still do that price matching thing. And they sent me something else. Um, if I remember correctly, this should be the topping D70, which is strange because topping has so many, so many things. And they, the, the price range is wild. So why on earth? Wow, look at that piece of foam. Fuck all that, look at this, look. How do I get a piece of Kaizen foam and like, what is this, a f fucking five layer? Look at this beautiful five layer Kaizen foam topping, hook me up. Do so much with that. Yeah, this is a D70S and there's a D70S MQA. I'm not sure which one this is, it might be the MQA, although it wouldn't affect me. Let's see what it's got. Hey, a topping remote. Looks like every other topping remote. All right, leave that in there. Power. Bluetooth antenna. I should just have a stack of these at this point. We've got a USB cable, normal USB cable, and here is, oh, it's, in, it's wedged in there. You know, that's beefy. I think that's beefier built than the, than the D90, which is sort of a strange turn of events. Put that there so I can put that back on. You can see the screen is slightly smaller than the glass itself. Power button, select left and right. Does this do volume? I don't know if this says volume out, because it is, oh my God. Oh shit, everybody. Oh shit, everybody. It's got the detail, that little like, the little like sweep in that the like the MX3 had. And I said when they did the MX3, like that is the higher end topping like plant. This is the MQA, it's the MQA black. It's freezing cold, it was sitting outside. So yeah, 768 kilohertz, DSD 512, 230, or 115 switch, which is of course in the wrong position because I live in mainland China or Europe. Switch that now so that it says 115 volt. We've got, still using the hard silicone, uh, the hard plastic. IFI went to those silicone covers and they just pop off so nice. These are like, these are too hard to do. These are too hard to do, I'm telling you, Topping. Power switch in the back. I'm hoping that'll also, that's a power indicator there. Uh, plug, AES, USB, optical, II2IS, so Bluetooth, then you have left and right out. So this has the full complement of connectivity. I like how it's recessed. I also like how they, that's a detail. This is an entire piece of aluminum and they recessed it back for that with the IIS, LV, DDS, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, we'll give it a shot. I mean, I'm, I'm not actually, here's the thing, what if the D70 sounds better than the D90? Of course, it's much newer. Like, the D90's been out for like two years. And I've seen some remarkably, like, interesting things happen with like DAX and amps in the last year. Just the A90's appearance after the 789 to destroy it and still be linear is like, holy shit. So who knows? Maybe this is a miracle deck. I don't think it's R2R. I don't think it's R2R. It would scream R2R all over it. Why do they give me an old school map? Look at these graphs, of course. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay. Not for that. When I download a random hentai that I don't know what it's about, and then I turn it on, and it turns out it's a fucking NTR, I get fucking pissed. Stupid fucking genre, shouldn't even fucking exist. Have you ever had that? Have you ever had that problem? Where it's like, oh, wow, the animation quality is this, I should have known. The first scene was like, wow, the animation quality, this is fucking top notch. Holy shit. NTR. It's just, it's almost a guarantee. Wait, this is a little thing. Fucking, it's almost a guarantee. Uh, if you know what NTR is, you can uh, feel for me in the comments. I, 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 I just, it was just like one that randomly downloaded. Like, oh, let's see what this is. 
Huh, 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 stop. I do not want, no one should want it. No one should want that genre of basically bad cuck holding. I'm not catching butterflies. This is actually a tea strainer. Specifically DD Premium, not DD Hi-Fi, DD Premium tea strainer. Strong and durable, large size, easy to use, heat safe for hands. Uh, for filtering Thai tea, coconut milk, or almond milk. Made in Thailand. Oh, it's made. It's literally made in Thailand for my Thai tea. Right, poopers? What are you looking at? You want this? You want to put your head in that? And I've been making, um, I started just now as my first first cold brew Thai tea. Yeah, fill me up. Um, evaporated milk and sugar. That's basically all it is. You use Thai tea, you cold brew it, evaporated milk and sugar. I try to explain what NTR is to pasta. But uh, she's watching a documentary, so I had to do a, a speech to text. So it's just this fucking giant pool of fucking things. It's gonna be great. It's great. It's gonna be great. It's great. It's not straight. It's the fucking worst thing ever. It's fucking stupid fucking Japan and their fucking. Do you believe this shit? By the way, this is back up here because that's gonna get hung up in the mezzanine because I can't. I can't, in good conscience, not listen to the people who are like, look, if you have breathing problems in the basement, do not exercise down there. <sighs> oh, the Thai tea is here as well. So um, this might be the same exact Thai tea I bought. I'm not 100% sure. Please drink Thai tea mix, Chat Rume brand. I think this is a product of Thailand. Some more Thai stuff. It was weird because there was a single bag of this for uh, $12.99 or two bags of this for $14.99. And I'm like, look, I don't make that much tea. I don't really need two bags, but that's dumb. So I bought two bags. So now I'm gonna bring this to my tea section. That's a nice one. It's classy. We have the tea section in here. That's cat medicines. There's tea and there's more tea. David sees the pasta's tea section. The chocolate chili chai was a little bit, like that takes a special like dessert. That's like a dessert tea. I really like these blue bags. I think these are pastas as well. I, I've been using those a lot. Here's what I have left of my first one of these giant bags of Thai tea. I have at least one more serving of that. I'll put you there and I'm gonna put you it's here. Christmas cards, that bulb, some lids. Like, I can't put them in the same spot. Anyway, that's what I got. So now I gotta figure out how to use this thing. And like, what do I do after the fact? Like, do you just like shake it out and then rinse it? I really should have looked at the packaging. Like care instructions, special recipe for Thai tea. Ooh, boil water. Scoop one tablespoon or half an ounce of tea into that water. Doesn't say how much water to boil. Fill three quarters of a cup with boiled water, running it through the filter. You may dip several times to make the tea stronger. Then add two tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk and two tablespoons of sugar to taste. Add about three tablespoons of skim milk to mix. The color should be orange. You know what, I'm gonna keep this. I'm literally gonna keep this because did the tea, and I usually do like one teaspoon of the fucking evaporated milk. And then I've been trying to go light with sugar and I actually bought this stuff at Costco. The monk fruit sweetener with erythro, it probably gives you cancer and AIDS and makes you gay or something, I don't know. What was it, wasn't it like toothpaste is making people gay? That was, was a conspiracy theory. Whatever the fuck that is though. Store in a cool dry place. It's one to one, it's basically, it looks like sugar. I haven't just eaten it, I'm afraid to. But I, I, I don't need to have that much sugar in my diet, so we'll see what this does. Anyway, there's that, there's that. And I bought one of these uh, like health field, health things. Pasta, can you link this? Sorry, baby. Um, FLTR, pure protection infrared thermometer. So you point it at your forehead, which I have a GoPro on. Let's try that again. Oh, 
Hold on. Uh, what is it doing? 98.6, my hand is. Wow, I didn't think my palm would be perfectly body temperature, but apparently it is. Smiley face, green. If I did under my tongue right. Ninety nine point one. I did it on my tongue before. It was a hundred point five. I'm like, what the fuck? Got a hot mouth. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do people when they come into my house. If like, oh, you here? Hold on. Just like at a fucking doctor's office. Fuck off. Twenty twenty one. Zio says fuck off. Oh, I bought another water um, boiler too, so I could have double fisting. We good? Good. I'm good. We're good. NTR sucks. Good night. <laughs>